Excel form report adds a new command to PCDMIS that allows you to fill up a form that you can create in Excel with measurement data from PCDMIS. It comes with a number of example reports to get you started. The command can be inserted from the Insert Modules Excel Form Report menu option. This will open a new window from where you can select an Excel template. For out of the box reports, you can just press the Create button to insert the command and then go measure. You can even add multiple reports into one routine. By default, the reports will be output into an Excel Form Reports folder within the PCDMIS Document folder. It even supports complex reports where there are multiple Excel tabs. Aside from the sample reports that ship with PCDMIS, it is very easy to create your own custom reports. Design your template in Excel and then place them in the Excel Form Report Templates folder. You can select it then from the template list in the Excel form report window and then associate the PCDMIS data fields to populate it. To do this, you drag and drop fields from the left column and drop them into the target cell. Items in the header can be filled up with the data from part info or trace field sections. You can also right click a cell to select or change the field. You can create custom fields. In this example, we're adding a comment for each dimension. Items dragged from the dimension or custom sections are data fields. These should be all on one row or one column. They also need to be selected and then use the set as data area right click menu option, which will turn them yellow. Once the form is configured, you can go to the data tab by default, all dimensions are added to the report, but in here you can easily define which should be output. There are also quick ways to turn all dimensions on and off. If you defined any custom fields, this is also where their values can be set for each dimension. Once you're done, press Create and go Measure to generate your report. If your report is configured to show the feature control frame, then you'll need to ensure that the font in the Excel template is set to use the PCDMIS font. The report settings dialog gives control over the format and location of the report file name. You can also change the format of the report itself if you prefer CSV or text format. There are also options for how dimensions should be displayed. The five-part study provides a nice way to append five parts onto one report. Here, the measured data field is set into multiple columns. For this type, you should ensure that time is not part of the report file name in order that it will append properly.